Hey guys, welcome back. Modi101 here to me with TN75. Hello. The sweet glasses, four eyes. Sick burn! Boom! <laughs> oh crap, I'm wearing them too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we are back in Dwarf's Tale, picking up right where we left off. Yep. Um, and Tegan remembered. Oh, yeah, the radiator is useful. So. Yes. It um, is. So, but we are going to sidetrack first. Okay. We're, we're going to pop back to Dwarven Magic because there is one. There, well, there, apparently there's a couple. <laughs> uh, there's a quest here called Multi-Tool. I found out that I can combine the thermometer, fluid gauge, and speedometer into a multi-tool. Now I have everything I need in one handheld device. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So let's look that up. Omni. Omni is a fun word. Um, <laughs> Omni. Because it has a lot of the letters in the alphabet that are really close to each other. Yeah. Right. Mm, MNO, but change them. Okay, so we need uh, the thermometer, the fluid gauge, and the speedometer. One bronze ingot, and then one clock, which is this golden redstone. Yeah. Uh, I think I left some of my stuff upstairs, so give me a second. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. And when you said, oh, yeah, you can put all three things, I was like, what's the third thing? I don't quite know where I put my thermometer. <laughs> Uh-oh. Is it in your backpack? Maybe. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so thermometer, no, fluid, and then let me just figure out where I put that as my speed on <laughs> Mm, 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 mm. I will say that both these mods very much do can like add to kind of a steampunk feel, especially this uh -huh. one. It's yeah, kind of this one especially. Alright. Um I need four gold. I have bronze and one piece of a redstone. Alright. Okay. And lastly. All right, there we go. Ding a ling a ding. No yep. rewards. <laughs> you can... oh. Whatever. Um, all right, so the next one, should we stay with this line? Uh -huh. or, or do we not need to right now? We don't need to. Okay, but we will at some point. Mm hmm. All right, we'll go into it, and then I'll be like, I don't know how to do... Oh, then. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you had said the radiator is something that can be used, and we're, we're probably going to move this setup stuff upstairs. Yeah, we might as well. Or we might now, be able to get it to go to work down here if you want to just yeah, keep it we, down we, here. We can move it up there. Okay. It's going to replace out the fuel heater to heat okay. up the crucible, so we won't have to use coal. Okay, and then it'll, other than making sure this thing has cobble in it, it'll be self-sustaining. Yeah. Now, my question here is real quick. Yeah. Is at some point Obsidian a very major product we need in Crossroads? Yeah, you have to use it to make, like, um, all those, these heat pipes. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Is that about it? Uh, yeah, but you're going to need a lot of it because you're going to need a okay. lot of those pipes. So. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So um, I read about this nifty machine that turns steam back into heat. Uh, at first I saw no use for, or no use, but then I thought about the crucible melting my cobblestone. I can pipe the heat back into the bottom of the crucible from the radiator and not use fuel anymore. I need to set up with sustainable power system, <laughs> like before, with the heat exchanger, system bo or steam boiler and drill, except instead of the steam turbine, I will use a radiator. Steam is piped in through the bottom of the radiator um, with fluid tubes. Distilled water is piped out. Okay, so this kind of keeps the same thing going. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and uh, heat comes out the sides. Using heat cables, the heat cables need to go into the bottom of the crucible. I figure I can also use a radiator to heat the heat chamber as well. And that's what this thing was, which is basically just a furnace. So, yeah. in essence, we can <coughs> now cook food or whatever or glass or whatever at a zero cost to us. At zero cost, yep. Okay. So, the first thing we need to make... And, well, the only thing we need to make is the radiator. Mm -hmm. 
or or for any of my friends in the the back east area, radiator. Radiator, really? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to tell you a story. We're going to go on a trip. <laughs> okay. Do you need more fluid tubes? Uh, I think I stuck them in the thing up. But, um, I have three brothers. Yes. Okay. Uh, and a sister. She's not involved in this. <laughs> okay. Three. Two of my brothers I'm very fond of. And then there's Mark. Yeah, there's the one you do. <laughs> so, two cool brothers and one Mark. Anyways, I made the radio. <laughs> Mark was born in Maine. Mm-hmm. And lived there to the ripe old age of seven months old. Mm-hmm. And then moved back to Pennsylvania where the rest of my family was from, where my other brothers were born and whatnot. And then much later in life, I think when he was a teenager, early teens, they moved to Arizona and then me, right? Uh-huh. So he lived back east for the better part of the first six months of, a, of uh, my of his life. And for some reason... To this day, he still says radiator. <laughs> no one else in my family says radiator. All right. He's just trying to be difficult. Basically, he, <laughs> he's being a raging butthole. To be <laughs> okay. So here's the question. Now, mm-hmm. we we basically need to mimic this setup then, right? Yeah. Okay. So this isn't something that – now, here's the question. Could we, in this steam boiler, because I, when I look at the steam boiler right now, um, it is saying, oh, well, this is this is tricky to look at now. <laughs> How much steam is in here? Uh, it should say, okay, fluid, right? There's distilled water, it's 10,000, and then there's another, uh, Wait, amount zero type none. So there's nothing in here right now. Okay, so it's all being pumped in here. And then it's being made into this. Okay, so my, 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 my question was, could we run oh the could we run a pipe off of here? Right here. Right there. That guy right there. Okay. <laughs> off of here into the radiator. Would this steam boiler be able to produce enough steam to run this turbine and all these gears and do the other thing? Um, possibly. It depends on how much the radiator is going to need. Um, at best, we could do just a double steam thing set up with another one of these and... So that we have two steam boilers okay. running, but if and that way we don't have <coughs> to do like a complete setup. We would use this distilled water that's coming out of here, and we would run out of the radiator into this same mm-hmm. foot tank. Okay, so we are building a second one. So okay, we're gonna need yeah. the other drill. We're gonna need another thing of lava, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Because because you can't run both heat exchangers off the one lava source block, can you? Ah, see how that like just doesn't like to do. I don't know if we should be blaming the drill. <laughs> I didn't. Really? Damn it! It didn't work for me either. All right, and then so All right. Ah, <laughs> hello. Okay, so I've got the second layer of cobble going now. All right. So I wonder, wonder who, 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 who wrote the book of love. But beyond that, I'm wondering if this one source will flow enough to do this. I can always try. There, we got that. Now the question is, can we do this? Yeah. Ha-ha! And then if we do this. Looks like it's working. Well, I mean, it's making cobble. So if it's making cobble and breaking it, it should be. Yeah. Why is it not making cobble? Oh, there it went. Seems considerably slower. 
We might just want to get another bucket of lava. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay. All right, so that is <coughs> there. Yeah, if you want to finish hooking up anything else to that. Okay. I don't have the radiator, though. Oh, here. Oh, oh what just happened? <laughs> that. All right, when, when you're on a platform above all our <laughs> stuff with uh, lava, I don't think... Oop, what just happened is a good idea. <laughs> it was just my screen. It just went uh -oh. a little wonky. Yeah, well, sometimes screens wonk. Hmm. It's a fact of life, kids. I've always been a, b a big believer in letting everybody know that I've always felt that if you take the good, you take the b bad. And if you take them both, there you have the facts of life. <laughs> the facts of life. Oh, gosh. You're, uh -huh. such a, you're such a Blair. <laughs> All right, so what did I say to do? I'm more of a 2D. In through the bottom of the radiator. Okay. Do you tell your friends? <laughs> Modi 101. Oh, you mean that total 2D? Yeah. <sighs> okay. All right, so... there we go. There we go. Now Papa's working magic. Okay there all right and then it should oh, where does the steam come out the the distilled water comes out the top right is what they said i need another um i like you said what they said I it's know. you i know um uh, just another right. fluid tube Do we have steam that? is piped through the bottom uh of the radiator uh with fluid tubes distilled water is piped out the top with fluid okay. tubes and heat comes out the sides using heat cables. Okay, All right, so you, need, you need more tubes? Here. Yeah. Okay. Now, we should have a couple of those heat ones. Now, <clears throat> in theory, oh, depending doing? on how this thing is going, we could make one or two more of these uh, heat chambers and run it all off the, the same kind of thing, right? In theory. Heat chambers. Heat chambers. They're, they're the, the, the furnaces. From oh, the yeah. Okay. So, should we bring this down? Mm-hmm. Okay, I have two, I think. How about right there? Okay, and we get some as a reward, too, so... I oh. think... Why, did, why does it not look... Oh, I have to pick. Yeah. Um, I'm going to pick those because they, and if you want to pick the other ones, it's okay. up to you. Okay. So now does this have to go in the bottom of the, it does. Okay. So we should probably go like this then here and here. Yeah. So now it's like, the now, heat. these heat tubes are coming back, and they're going into the uh, heat exchange. Yeah, that's not going to... Oh, crap. Ah, don't do that! Run! Run! <laughs> run! Run! Oh, gosh. Tegan, what did you do? <laughs> I did nothing. We just let it get too hot. Oh. Oh, is that a thing? I thought yes. you placed down lava. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so... That's a maybe, thing. <laughs> maybe something to put in the book in big, bold letters. Oh, come oh, on. Oh, hey, BT dubs. <laughs> These cables will murder your face. <laughs> they, uh, they say it on the cables. No, it's more fun to see people suffer. It was you. <laughs> All right, so we got. Okay, so now let's. Now we've burnt up all our heat cables. Well, I have six. Okay. I made a mess. Okay, so we're gonna have to do this a little differently because the heat cable cannot go right next to this heat exchanger because it needs to stay hot. Oh, is the heat cable pulling? I thought maybe it might be pushing heat into the heat exchanger. No, it's pulling. Okay, so we just got to come out of block. Yeah. All right. So I'm thinking, call me crazy, let's hook up everything over here, then run the cable. Yeah. How about that? Okay. So we should probably do, then let's do it like this here. 
so that we're going to run up this way. Okay, so it would be like this. I'm not hooking the last one up. Okay, right? Yeah, and, and then, then I'm just going to put one there. of these on here just to be safe. This will siphon the heat off the heat exchanger. Will it siphon it before it gets to the crucible? It will, so it'll just, um, so well, we on. don't waste, and then I'll take it off when we need the heat. Okay. All right, so then we got to put, and um, i got to get a chest. I don't remember how we were pumping this stuff out, because it has to go into something else, right? Yeah, the stuff downstairs that I haven't taken up yet. No, you right? got everything. Oh, I got everything. Where is it all? You know, we could put this heat exchanger on the back of that pipe. And just, I don't know, throw some cobble in it. But where's my fluid cooling chamber? In my inventory. Oh, okay. I don't know how, but it is. <laughs> okay. <coughs> All right. I don't remember how this was set up, so you take that. Okay. We have to pump the lava you up! out of here. Oh, I thought you were doing a bit. I'm sorry. <laughs> And then we have to, okay, and then the the thingy, the chest downstairs. Where's my little chest, chest I have, transporter? I have a chest. I already got it. Okay. Yeah, and then I have to make this run into that, I believe. And you also have to put one on top of here. Yes, I have another one. Oh, come on, go in there, thank you. Yeah, I'll put uh, some. And then this definitely needs a pipe coming out, like a, I mean, a, an insta heat cable coming out this side because we're going to have to move the heat exchanger over to here when we're ready. Why? What? Because this has to stay cool, the fluid cooling chamber, to make obsidian. All right, how do we keep it cool? Oh, with this thing. We just put a heat pipe, a heat cable right here. Okay. All right, and now, now there's, there'll be juice going into this guy. Mm hmm So that'll help. Yeah. Okay, so... You have another heat cable? I do. All right. I have one. Do we hook it up? Right here. Or? Let's put one right here, just... I thought it was on the side. It was on the side downstairs. Oh, but we can't get back here then. Right. You want to hear? Sure. It opens, so that's fine. It'll just look weird. <laughs> okay. So now we've got the cobble going in there. Okay. So we can we can do this, right? I don't know. Um, I don't have any more heat cables. Do you? No, we're going to have to make some. Crap. It's not that now. bad. Yeah, but it's work. We got lots of... So the obsidian uh, ones... So there's copper with obsidian. All right, I'll yeah. make some. Okay. Now, the reason I use these is because it has... Before it melts, it takes up to 2,000 degrees Celsius. So... Okay. They take the most heat <laughs> before they melt. But that radiator pumps out a lot of heat. <sighs> we is this going to be an issue? Um, I'm assuming you can't store heat. Not that I have found out. Oh, we have five obsidian insulated cables. Ah, in the chest. all right. Well, I already <laughs> made. Four. Okay, so I think I'm gonna put this on here right now. Okay, we had an extra one, so. Okay. Should right. we hook this up? Yeah, hook it up. Let's see what. Oh my gosh. It didn't do it right away, did it? <laughs> Stop! Oh my gosh, I don't have any, um... Uh, it's in the... The thing right here. Ow! 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 ow. Oh, it wasn't me. That was you on fire. Yes. I, I was sympathy burning. Oh my What's goodness. What's happening? <laughs> am, am I winning? <laughs> oh god, it's back here too! <laughs> All hope is lost! No. All hope... Oh gosh, what a mess. Okay, I don't want these burning all off. Where is my heat exchange? Oh my gosh, it's so much stuff. 
Go away, lava. Thank you. Alright, I guess I need the heat exchanger up further. Don't you dare get burned up. Alright, um... Wow. I've run out of... Oh my gosh. Okay, where's the, the cobble? Thank you. I need more cobble. <laughs> oh, oh. Your platform of wood may not be a good idea. I'm I know saying. it's what I had, and I was hoping that I would get this done quicker, but... Oh, man. All right. Well, we built a tiny fort. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> this has been fun. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, crap. There's still lava here. Yeah, there's... Lots of lava here. Oh, it's like a jelly-filled donut you don't want. <laughs> All right. Okay, so heat exchanger right away. <laughs> Come on, you're not supposed to be that hot. <laughs> okay, you know uh. what, radiator? You're coming off right now. All right. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to clean up the mess. <laughs> and the fun part is we're at the end of this episode, so we're going to mess with this in the next one. Oh, yay. <laughs> so come back and join uh, us for part two of Tegan's Big Mess. <laughs> Tegan's Big Mess, yeah. That's exactly what this is. Mm -hmm. Like the radiator, she said. It'll be fun, <laughs> she said. All right, guys, we're going to wrap things up here and continue on with this uh just barrage of idiocy in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up. <gasps> Questions, comments, concerns, put it down in the comment <laughs> section. Who is who you're watching, make sure you check out the other channel down below. And while you're there, wouldn't the heat exchanger just... Whatever. Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, yeah, whoever's who you're watching, check out the other one. Hit the like, subscribe button. Uh, if you guys want to come hang out with the squad and the super awesome patrons, play on our Patreon server and chit-chat with us in our Discord, go check out the Patreon link down below. Now is the time to do a little holiday gift for yourself or for a loved one, or if you don't like us, for an enemy. We're fine with that. We don't care. Anyways, mm -hmm. and um, any of you guys want to get your very own Minecraft server so that you can hang out and play with your friends on your very own server, go uh, check out Aim the Game. I'll use the link down below so you know you're coming from a squad. Use a coupon code to save yourself some money. And until the next episode of Why is Everything So Hot, we want to thank you guys so much for hanging out. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.